ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ ಮೂರರ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಾ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಬಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಣ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಅಂಕದ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊರತುಪಡಿಸಿ ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಐದು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಕೇಳಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಬಲ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಅವುಗಳ ಮಾದರಿ ಉತ್ತರಗಳನ್ನ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಣ ಪೂರ್ತಿಯಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ವಿಡಿಯೋನ ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಬಾರಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯಿಂದ ಕೇಳಲಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂದಾಗ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಿಂದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರವರೆಗಿನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಎರಡು ಅಂಕದ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಒಳಗೊಂಡಿರುವಂತದ್ದಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯವಾರು ಕೇಳಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಣ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ಮೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯೋ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಯೋ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಲೆಸನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಡೂ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಡಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಲೆಮೋ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆರ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಡಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಲೆಮೋ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೆಡ್ a tree when a child was born in the village so the trees belonged to the children second question how do you say that don oslemo was a man of principles don oslemo refused to take extra amount from the americans he told that he had agreed to sell the land for 1200 dollars this shows that he was not after the money next question don oslemo and the americans were generous in their own way give reasons don oslemo refused to take extra amount from the americans he told that he had agreed to sell the land for 1200 dollars and the americans bought the trees from the children of the village however the trees in the land legally belonged to americans dr b r ambedkar lesson how can you say that ambedkar had a great thirst for books or ee question na innond reethiyalli kelabodu dr b r ambedkar was a voracious reader justify Ambedkar bought books by curtailing his daily needs. When he was in New York, he is said to have purchased 2,000 old books at the time of second round table conference in London. He bought plenty of books. He needed 32 boxes to send them to India. Next question. Why did Nehru choose Dr. Ambedkar as the first law minister? Ambedkar had a great skill in law and legislation. He had the vision of social justice. Therefore, Nehru chose him to be the law minister of India. How did Mahatma Pule influence Ambedkar? Ambedkar was greatly influenced by the life and work of Mahatma Pule. He was working for a classless society and for women's uplift next question why does nehru describe dr b r ambedkar as a symbol of revolt before independence the depressed classes were illiterate their condition was miserable dr b r ambedkar raised his voice against this discrimination and improved the condition of the depressed classes the concert nalli why do you appreciate smita smita always did the work with ananta to fulfill the desire of ananta she requested pandit ravi shankar to come to her house and play the sitar for anant next question what makes you appreciate pandit ravi shankar and utsad alarkha pandit ravi shankar and utsad alarkha were busy musician on hearing the story of anant they went to smita's house and played for the dying boy anant they deserve our appreciation next question they had smita and her family come to bombay 
who did they stay with smitaj brother ananta had been struck, struck with cancer they had come to bombay so that he could be treated at the cancer hospital in the city they stayed with aunt sushila next question how do you say that ananta was a talented boy ananta was the best table tennis player in the school and the fastest runner he was learning to play the sitar and was already able to compose his own tunes to the astonishment of his guru science and hope of survival first question why did the president of russian academy of science samon boro the superpower in the world had sufficient nuclear weapons to destroy lives people lived under the threat of complete destruction there was necessity to put a ban on the use of nuclear weapon tests so borok was asked to find out a solution for saving the world from destruction by nuclear weapons next question how according to borok is survival of civilization threatened according to borok our civilization is threatened by natural and man made disasters some of them are earthquakes environmental uh, catastrophes and self inflicted destruction of mega cities economic and social crisis why did the super power meet in geneva there was the treat of mutually assured destruction as nuclear tests continued stronger bombs were being made the three super powers wanted to come to an agreement putting a ban on the nuclear weapon test to save themselves and the world according to borok scientists are the most practical people in the world all new technologies all new brands of industry are the result of a research by scientists it is through their work that we have medicines electronic synthetic fibers new source of energy modes of transport and the green revolution this proves that scientists are the most practical people up to outer space tomorrow morning first question why does the poet say calendars and clocks are useless in space in space there would be no night and day nor would there be a change of a season so there would be no need for any calendar or clock next question the poet says tea cups circling round me like the planets round the sun why does it happen only in space and not on the earth objects do not fly around on the earth due to the force of gravity in the space this force of gravity is not there so things fly around next question why does the poet express loneliness in the space the speaker would be alone in his capsule nobody would visit him nor would he have a friend near him he would not write any letters nor would he receive any he would feel like a prisoner narayanpura incident why had the students been marching how was it an unusual march or in another retail question kelabodu babu and manju were a bit disappointed with the way student 
were marching what was the region or idanna innond reethiyalli kelabodu what had the police expected about the way of protest how did the student leaders manage the protest the students were marching to give a notice to the collector even though there were policemen they marched as if the policemen did not exist they marched silently without any slogans according to babu and manju the students should have protested the police also expected the same this would make them beat them up and imprison them the students without causing violation gave a notice to the dsp they thought that if they were arrested and kept in prison it would not be possible to continue their agitation next question what was in the mysterious parcel what suspicion did the police have about that there was a cyclo styling machine in the mysterious parcel the police suspected that mohan and his family were making copies of the mahatma's speech next question why had patil the sub inspector come to mohanas house who believed him and what was the result mr patil was the classmate of mohanas father he came to give a warning about the police raid on his house mohanas mother believed him and gave the cyclo styling machine and papers on top of the world describe the hardship and challenges faced by dikki dolma dikki dolma lost her mother when she was 11 she lost her brother too when she was getting ready for the final front frontier her father was bedridden she was not financially sound next question explain dikki dolma's preparedness in achieving her dream of scaling mount everest r e question na innond reethiyalli kelabodu how did dikki dolma scale mount everest dolma got training in the mountaineering institute at manali her determination and hard work helped her to secure a grade she believed that success always follows dedication determination and hard work she used to practice four hours every day before the task of scaling mount everest a great martyr ever cherished life for hanif in the beginning was never a smooth sail explain hanif lost his father when he was just 8 years old he had two young brothers his mother was a vocal artist she traveled with the performance wing of the information and broadcasting ministry therefore she would have to leave hanif and his two brothers alone so hanif and his two brothers had to manage things on their own next question how does the writer describe the introvert hanif ee question is important agiruvanta question agiruvantadu introvert hanif ge sambandhisante ee ondu prashne keliruvantadagide hanif began to make friends only at the age of 14 he often went out of his way to help people by doing so he derived joy seniors appreciated hanif's helping nature next question hanif was a young man with varied talent and interest justify hanif dabbled in art sketched very well 
he made beautiful cards out of waste material he read books and loved playing drums the bird of happiness nalli what did the third moon star went wanjia to do what was wanjia's reply the third moon star wanted wanjia to bring bhima's eyeballs if he refused to bring them he would gog out his eyeballs wanjia replied that no one had the right to destroy a girl's pretty eyes he said that he would not gog bhima's eyeballs next question what was happiness according to people of tibet getting the bird of happiness back from the snowy mountain is the happiness if it came back it would rain and rivers would start flowing land would become fertile and trees and flowers would become fresh what happened when the bird of happiness cursed wanjia the bird of happiness cursed wanjia gently with its wings and sang for him wanjia's eyeball flew back into their sockets and now he could see more brightly than before all his wounds were healed and he was stronger than ever ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಈ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರೆಗಿನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳು ಈ ಮೂರು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಕೇಳಿರುವಂತಹ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಾಗಿರುವಂತದಾಗಿದೆ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಸತೀಶ್ ಗುಜ್ರಾಲ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಬಹುದು ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಸೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಬ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ ಟು ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ಸತೀಶ್ support the statement with few of his achievements athava ee question ge inond rithiyalli kelabodu what are the achievements of satish gujral satish gujral met with a accident and became deaf deaf he was refused admission by schools because he was not a normal boy boys made fun of him and therefore he remained and home one day he saw a beautiful bird which had a longish tail and a black crest that made him takes up drawing and painting his father admitted him to one of the best schools of arts within a short time satish learned not only drawing and painting but also about life today satish is one of the best artists in india exhibitions of his work have been held all over the world he has published four books in arts the government of india honored him with the padma vibhushana he has also been awarded the order of the crown next question how did the bird inspire satish one day when satish gujral was looking gloomily into the corner of his garden he saw a beautiful bird he had not seen such a beautiful bird before it had a longish tail and a black crest it had restless energy it its eyes kept darting here and there its whole body ready for flight any moment satish started stared at the bird for a pencil and sketched the bird from memory he got interested in drawing and painting his father admitted him to one of the best schools of arts satish became one of the best artist in india next i am the land idike sambandhisante summary kelabodagirvantadu summary na nodkollana adanna yav rithi prashne kelirtare aa rithi uttarisukonu barabodu the speaker in the poem is the land it says that it is always patient and bears all that is done to it 
the reader on the other hand uses the land in many ways he digs the land grows fruits and trees and even fights for land man also fences and makes boundaries over the land mother earth has an ocean of patience and bears all the atrocities committed by human beings it is a tone of self assertion the poet mocks at those who are greedy they wage wars to acquire more land to grow crops but the earth has not done any harm to us she has given everything to us whatever harm and injustice we are doing the earth bears everything patiently we cannot put a fence around mother earth song of india idr summary annu nodadaga the poet vk gokak sings praises of the country he sings about the natural beauty of the country epics beautiful temples soldier who fought for the country and sacrifice sacrificed their lives seers and wise men who should people the right path the poet also describes the industrial progress and technological achievements the country has made mother india asks the poet to sing about the numerous ills in the country she asks him to sing about the beggars and lepers the aged the illiterate and children living a joyless life she wants him highlight the strike the division between the rich and the poor and pollution caused by industrial development the poet is dissatisfied whether there was a perfect song which he could sing whole heartedly at that point the he had a vision of the mother rising from the sky and sitting on the throne of waves she appeared to write the destiny of the nation next extracts nalli ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಗಳು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂದ ತರ್ಟಿ ವರೆಗೆ ಕೇಳಿರುವಂತದಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೇಳರಿಂದ ಮೂವತ್ತರವರೆಗೆ ಕೇಳಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಹೀರೋದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಓಪನ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಫಾದರ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ afraid of darkness devils ghosts what reply did the speaker get swami should promise that he would not roll up his bed and go to his grandma's side at night next extract if you do it i will make you the laughing stock of your school who is the speaker father who does you refer to swami what makes the speaker say so swami's efforts to escape from sleeping in the office room makes the speaker say the statement next it is a disgraceful sleeping beside granny or mother who made this statement father who slept beside his granny or mother swami why did he sleep beside her he was afraid of sleeping alone why did the speaker think that this action was disgraceful swami was not a boy he was in second standard your office room is very dusty and there may be corruptions behind your law books who made this remark swami when did the speaker make this remark 
Swami's father asked his son to sleep alone in the office room. Why did the speaker make this remark? Swami made this remark because he wanted an excuse for not sleeping in the office room. What does it reveal about the speaker? He did not have the courage to tell his father that he was afraid to sleep alone. There's a girl by the tracks. There's a girl by the tracks. The voice cried out. Who voices were they? Passengers in the train. What was the name the girl? Roma Talreja. How did she happen to lie by the tracks? Roma was jammed between the other women. She lost her fo uh, foothold and got pulled out of the moving train and fell on the ground. Sister, are you okay? Bejan, aap thik hai, but there was no response. Who asked this question? Baleshwar, who does sister refer to? Roma Talreja. Why could not he get a response? She was unconscious. What does response mean in the context? The word response means reply. Next question. I think it is an astonishing thing that a stranger jumped off a train and risked his life for me. Who is the I? Roma Talrej. Who is the stranger? Badeshwar. Where was the speaker when these words were said? The speaker was in the hospital. The discovery We are like bats trying to fly by day. Who made this statement? Digo. Who does we refer to? The seaman. What does the statement mean in the context? Bats cannot see during the day. If they fly during the day, they may fly anywhere. In the same way, the seamen thought that they were going somewhere and they would not sight land. There are limits to our patience, sir. Who made this statement? There you go. Who does sir refer to? Pedro. When did the speaker say so? Pedro asked Diego if he was becoming impatient. Discipline is a thing of the past, sir. It's you or us. Who does you refer to? Columbus. When did the speaker say so? Or what statement was it an answer to? When Columbus said, discipline knows no birds, what trait does it reveal about the speaker? Francisco was an indisciplined seaman. He had no respect for Columbus. Ballad of the Templest Nali. We were crowded in the combine. Not a Soul would dare to sleep. Who does we refer to? The sailors. What does dare mean? Be bold or have the courage. Why was it so? One night the ship was caught in a violent storm. The sailor feared for their lives. They crowded in combine and they were not able to sleep. Next extracts. It is a fearful thing in winter to be shattered by the blast. 
what is a fearful thing uh, referred to to be caught in a violent storm in is a fearful thing how did it affect the sailors the sailors crowded together in a combine in fear they lay awake saying a silent prayer in the dark what does shatter mean to break apart next text acts we are lost the captain shouted what does we refer to the sailors why did the captain say this their ship was caught in violent storm and the captain feared that the ship would break apart any moment how did his daughter react to this situation his daughter remained calm holding her father's hand she asked if god could protect them on land would he not protect them on sea next text acts is not god upon the ocean just the same as on the land who asked this question the little maiden or the captain's daughter who was it said to to her father the captain and the sailors what does it mean the little daughter wanted to instill courage and con confidence in the them she wanted them to remain calm and cool even in any critical situation like this next to four marks ge sambandhisidante kelabodagiranta question nodadaga grandma climbs a tree grandma climbs a tree is written by ruskin bond the poet's grandmother learned to climb trees from her brother when she was six even in her old age she used to climb trees people advised her to stop climbing trees and go to grow old gracefully but she just laughed and said that she would grow old disgracefully one day she climbed a tree and could not come down she was rescued with great difficulty the doctor strictly advised her to stay in a bed for a week the moment she felt stronger she demanded a house on a tree top she got it and lived like a queen in her house on the tree jazz poem 2 idralu sa four marks ge sambandhisidante summary mele prashne kelabodagiruvantadu ee summary anna nodkoli uttarisabodagiruvantadu an old jazz musician is standing like a black and ancient mariner his old face is wrinkled and weary his faded blue shirt has turned dark with sweat his stomach is hanging loosely his jacket is worn out and his necktie is undone and dropping loosely over the jacket his shoes are torn and are stuffed with paper to cover the holes his rough unshaved face shows our pain he stands alone head down eyes closed and ears perked an old saxophone hangs across this chest supported from his neck by a wire coat hanger he gently lifts the saxophone to the parted lips but once he starts playing music he is no longer a black man but a bird which gathers his wings and flies high and higher he seems to be spreading the message of god through his music 
ಇವಿಷ್ಟು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತ ಎರಡು ಅಂಕ ಮೂರು ಅಂಕ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಒಂದು ಅಂಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪೋಯಂಗಳು ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತದ್ದು ಇನ್ನು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೋದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಆ ವಿಡಿಯೋನ ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸಬಹುದು ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ನಾವು ಪಿಡಿಎಫ್ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನೀವು ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಬಹುದಾಗಿರುವಂತದ್ದು ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆದಲ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನಷ್